What's good, y'all? Welcome to our channel. I'm Maya. And Sarah. And we are Charmed and Dangerous. Because you know we're charming. And we're dangerous. Dangerous. Boom. And on today's episode, y'all already know what we're talking about. Before we get into it, though, we would love it if you hit that subscribe button down below. We're two besties. We talk about astrology. We talk about players. Okay, we talk about whatever the heck we want to talk about. So, if you can get down with any of those topics, hit that subscribe button, like I said, and now onto the video. Okay, Sarah Bears. Hmm. Let the people know what's your first tip on how Aries can be their most evolved self. Yes. Well, I want to preface this by saying that usually me and Maya have six points, and like it just so happened that we have very similar points. Yes. Um, and it was not planned. It was not. <laughs> We're just both so <laughs> smart. Right. And I guess this is what you Aries really need. So exactly. That's true. The fact that we didn't discuss <laughs> right. these points and, and they're like. Like very, similar. very similar. We felt it. Right. So you should too. <laughs> but anyway, my first point for Aries is move your body. Get your energy out. If you're an Aries and you don't stay active, like, are you okay? Like, is you good? You know? <laughs> like, what do you do with all that energy combusting in your body every two seconds? Right. Like, how are you okay? You're like a little volcano just like waiting to erupt. <laughs> And you know you do. You be erupted every day. Yes. <laughs> Always ready to explode. Okay. And you know when that lava is out, you can't get it back in, and now the damage is done, and you're like, oh my god, why does this always happen to me? <laughs> <laughs> you're like, yeah, just Aries energy in general needs to stay active in order to like relieve the tension that they store in their body and in their head especially. Mm -hmm. I feel like staying active of course looks different for everybody. I'm not telling you to do like a 4K run every other day, but like find out what you like and like stick with it. Make it a priority in your life and I promise you it will just help you out in the long run, but find out what works for you. If you don't wanna move your body all the time, that's fine. Like exercise your brain, meditate. You can really do a lot of things to work with what you got. Mm -hmm. And I don't have Aries in my chart like in terms of like Aries placements but I can tell you this like whenever the moon is in Aries I need to move my body more than any other time and if I don't I usually get a tension headache same and I know a lot of other people do so if you're living with that energy it's even more important for you to have that sort of lifestyle yeah I absolutely could not agree more mm -hmm. exercise is your friend Aries mm -hmm. okay like y'all really need to make sure that you're getting that energy out in healthy ways otherwise you are going to feel like you're gonna burst, you know what I mean? And we don't like when you burst all the time, to be yeah. totally honest with you. We don't, most people don't like that heavy aggression that y'all bring. <laughs> so, get it out <laughs> in healthy ways. Scared. You a little know, scared. it's a little scary, it's a little scary. I'm not sure like it, but if you're gonna beat our ass. scare people. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? It like, scares <laughs> most people. I'm like, keep it to me. Right, it's like, ooh, it's dangerous. <laughs> Exercising will, you know, really make you kind of pause. Mm -hmm. I feel like when you exercise, it's really just you and your body. You know what I mean? So you really get to check in on yourself. And I feel like that's a good time for you guys to give yourself positive affirmations mm -hmm. because it is just like you and yourself, you know, like you're hearing yourself breathe. You're like that one machine. And I feel like, I mean, everybody knows Aries are very cocky motherfuckers. <laughs> <laughs> Make sure really? that confidence and cockiness is actually rooted in something and it can be in your exercise and your hard work and how you dedicate to your body. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? I think that'll be great for y'all. Okay, so for my second point, I feel like a tip for y'all Aries that want to be higher vibrational <laughs> is Take your sweet ass time before you respond to a situation. You're like, situation? What situation? Mm. You know what situation. Every damn situation, all right? Right. <laughs> They're like, what you mean? What situation? You know what's going on in my life? Right. Like, who's trying to get me? <laughs> like, I don't, we don't even need to know. We just you know You already that. know. There's always a situation because yeah. a lot of things piss you off and that's fine. I'm a passionate person too. A lot of things piss me off. But <laughs> it's good to take your time responding when you know you have that kind of personality. We all know Aries is very impulsive and while that may be a great asset in some situations such as like when your risks pay off, in other situations it can tend to get you in trouble, you know? And I feel like your warrior spirit can definitely go up against anybody at any given time. But think about the power you'll hold if you just take the time to understand and assess the situation before you respond right away. I know y'all more than anybody have had times when you're like, damn it, I could have said this. Damn it, I could have said that. Because you guys just respond so quick. And usually, you're quick-witted. You'll say some aggressive shit back and they'll like be like, oh my god. Right, but, and usually it's good enough, but still. But still, because <laughs> you feel like you, you owed it to yourself to have a more put together exactly. like thought or well thought come back. Response. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? Yeah. I feel like they don't get everything they want to say out. They mm -hmm. just go from the heart right away and then the person pulls back and they don't see them again. They're like, damn it, what I wasn't done. Right. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> 
so I feel like it's good to like get comfortable using the phrase I'll get back to you because trust me I know you'll get back to them you know what I mean but at a later time when you've calmed your sweet fiery ass down yes, <laughs> yes. and I could not agree more y'all really need to calm down or take a breath you know what I mean meditate count backwards from 10 or whatever I know that there's all these like little tricks that people do to whatever calm them in the moment right. but really yeah <laughs> you know step aside for a minute I feel like sometimes Aries think that if they're stepping aside like they're not immediately um, talking about it or facing it head on like they see that as kind of like a loss or like they come up as a week you know yeah. what I mean and that's totally not the case if anything people are gonna respect you more because you're coming collected you know mm -hmm. what I mean and we love your passion Aries do not get me wrong like we're not saying that yeah but at all. sometimes you come off as like you know too impulsive and aggressive so shouldn't you like don't you want to just like chill a little bit and, and have people understand you better because I know mm -hmm. you get frustrated when people don't understand you so take a breath people will understand you if you're a little bit more calm most people don't do well when like they're getting yelled at though I feel like yeah I feel like Aries <laughs> wants to be taken seriously and a lot of the times people don't take you seriously when you come at them in that kind of tone because let's be honest we're all grown adults there's no need to be yelling at anybody you could still have passion in your voice but mm -hmm. you know don't be coming at people aggressively because then they're going to retreat instead of actually having a two-way conversation with you. Yeah. Which I feel like you would benefit from. You want to discuss this, but again, nobody likes being talked at. Yeah. And y'all can do that sometimes. Yeah. You know? So just take a breath. And you won't have that <laughs> guilt. You know what I mean? Because you guys know what I'm talking about when you... Well, I know. Scorpio, I, I do. <laughs> <laughs> Where like you, you know, are hella impulsive. You say something something super sassy and then later you're like damn it I was I feel guilty they didn't deserve all that like I went too far you know what I mean I went a little too far so and I know you guys can agree with that so that won't happen as often if you take that like five minute whatever breather and then come back at them because I promise you you're still probably gonna come back at them a little aggressive mm -hmm. but it just won't be to the extent that it would have been if you would have responded right away yes you know yes I could not agree more mm -hmm. pause y'all mm. pause pause <laughs> refresh <laughs> come back <laughs> okay so for my third and final point for Aries is learn to delegate <laughs> I know y'all love being a lone wolf who gets <laughs> shit done all by themselves and I feel like your favorite part about it is telling people that you do it by yourself I do it all by myself I, got it all I know out. I get it <laughs> <laughs> but I know and I also know that like you believe that you're only as strong as your weakest player which is like a control tactic for you you know if that you're not telling people what to do you know you could get it done it's a control thing but sometimes other people are just as hardworking as you Aries granted there aren't that many people in the world that are like that but there are people that work just as hard as you and just maybe they want to help you get some of that stress off of your table now it might take some time to find these hardworking people that you want to have on your team or you know in your friendship circle people mm -hmm. that go hard for you you know what I mean but I promise you they exist you just got to be patient enough to find them and when you find them you will realize how much more time you can have by yourself and I know y'all love your me time so accept some help from time to time mm -hmm. and I know that comes with trust because you guys don't trust a lot of people so you just rather get it done by yourself but it feels really really good to have people around you that know you and know how you like things done and they do it that way mm -hmm. there's there's just something beautiful about that mm -hmm. you know but you have to be willing to accept that if you just don't accept people in your life of course you're not gonna see who's the type of person that goes as hard as you mm -hmm. you know but they exist yeah. you just have to give them that chance yeah. to prove that to you I feel like remember that you guys the best leaders listen to people and mm -hmm. Aries y'all are leaders you know what I mean you are natural born leaders and when you are trying to get your thing done like Sarah said you can kind of like bulldoze over people and y'all have really great ideas but you don't always have the best ideas okay like everybody like the best ideas come from multiple people working together under a strong leader you mm -hmm. know what I mean so make sure you're listening to what other people are saying if you really want to start being a really really effective leader you know what I mean like gather all the information gather data <laughs> okay mm -hmm. <laughs> make a plan and then execute mm -hmm. you I feel like they're always focused on like you're always focused on like getting it done but if you really want to elevate make a plan like start to yeah. think way before you know what I mean or have someone on your team that does that for you and then when it's time to execute that plan that's when you come that's in. when you step in exactly yes all right lovely people so we got a podcast, and if you didn't know, we, we got, got a, a podcast. podcast. It's hot. 
uh -huh. sexy. It's the best podcast you ever gonna listen to. Guarantee. So if it's your first time here, yeah, we have a podcast. It's amazing. And at the end of each YouTube video, we pose a question and we discuss it further in the podcast. And it always relates to whatever topic topic we're discussing on YouTube. Mm -hmm. Okay, so are you ready for the question? Yeah. Okay, so the podcast question is what healing crystal would you recommend for an Aries placement? Ooh. Mm, which is fun. I feel like we've never really discussed healing crystals mm -hmm. um, on our podcast. Um, not so much here either, but we yeah. both love our we healing love our crystals. crystals. I've been wearing our shirt. I wear my shit every day. Erder. Okay. Erder. Hello. Erder. I don't walk out, and if I do, I'm like, oh my god, I'm not something, protected. Something goes something wrong. Something ain't right. Day. It does. It always does. The energy ain't right. I'm not protected. <laughs> right. Um, so yeah, listen to the podcast. Links are down below. We're gonna link our socials, obviously, over here. Go give us a follow. Don't forget to comment down below with tips that you would give Aries placements on how they can be their best evolved self mm -hmm. or if you're an Aries what has worked for you mm -hmm. people would love to hear it we love you guys and we'll see you next week bye, bye.